Hi guys and welcome to Archie Preschool! Again, we are changing themes! I told you last time we're gonna talk about the new season. And what is that season? Is it winter? No. Mm -mm. Is it spring? No. Mm -mm. Is it summer? No. Is it fall? Yeah. Yes, it is! How do we know it's fall? There's so many different clues. When you walk outside and you look around, you'll see it's fall even if I don't tell you. So these are some things, right? The pine cones start falling, the leaves start changing colors, we got apples on the trees, we got pumpkins, bigger ones than this one hopefully, <laughs> we got acorns and all that. So I have a book about the fall and then we have a little game. Are you ready? Let's read the book first. I know it's autumn by Eileen. I know it's autumn when the morning light comes late. When there's a pumpkin muffin on my breakfast plate. When daddy brings my jacket from the storage box and grandpa wears a bathrobe and his slipper socks. I know it's autumn when the school bus toots its horn, when we drive past an empty field that once grew corn, when leafy trees turn colors, red, gold, and brown, and farmer Freddy brings his harvest into town. I know it's autumn when our class makes acorn art. When there's a turkey sticker on each spelling chart. When we help Mrs. Martin bake zucchini bread and yellow mums are blooming in the flower bed. I know it's autumn when we rake the leaves in piles, when doorstep jack-o'-lanterns wear their crooked smiles. When we go picking apples for mom's apple pie and noisy geese fly south across the evening sky. I know it's autumn when the moon is full and bright, when we go on a hayride with our friends at night. When bonfires blaze and the storyteller leaps and claps, and all the kids grow sleepy on their daddy's laps. Sweet fall dreams, everyone. See? There's so many different clues that we can look out for to know if it's fall or if it's summer or spring or winter. I have a little game for you. I put together a little movie and I will show you different things and I want you to guess if that means it's fall. So let's say you see a picture of a snowman. Do you think that means it's fall? Mm, not usually. I mean, it can snow in a fall. Don't take me wrong, depends where you live. But mostly when you think fall, you don't think snowman, do you? That's more winter. So if you see a picture of a pumpkin or a jack-o'-lantern, is that fall? Yes. Yeah. If you see colorful leaves, is it fall? Yeah. If you see kids at a beach swimming, not that much. Let's play the game. How do we know it's fall? Is it fall when you're going to play around with leaves like this? Yep. What about those pumpkins? Do they remind you of fall? Mm-hmm, yeah, correct. And what about those colorful leaves? Do they remind you of fall? They sure do to me. How about playing in the pool with a beach ball? <laughs> no, it's summer. Seeing snow and ice all around you? Now we're skipping ahead. Now that's, yep, winter. What about apples? That is the fall season. Snow on the tree? Mm-mm, colorful leaves, yeah, but this, this is winter. Jack-o'-lanterns? 
Yep, the end of October. So that's fall. And how about jumping up and down in muddy puddles? Or just nice and clear puddles? <laughs> that could totally be fall. Or spring. Nice flowers in a beautiful garden. That's more spring than fall, huh? And what about this one? That's our last picture. Fall or winter or summer? What do you think? I think the leaves and the fog tell you it is fall. Good job, guys. Are you ready to learn a new sound? Which ones have you learned already? We learned snake is in the grass, the snake is in the grass, snake is in the grass. We have learned ants on my arm, ants on my arm, ants on my arm, they're causing me alarm. We learned when I watch the tennis game, when I watch the tennis game, my head goes back and forth. And we learned Inky the mouse is my pet. She spills the ink and got wet. The ink is spread all over the desk. Ink is wet. And today we're gonna learn one of my favorites. Pa 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 pa. Can you say pa 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 pa? There you go. Can you put your finger up like this and put it close to your mouth and say pa 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 pa? Can you feel the little bit of wind coming out of your mouth when you say pa pa pa? Can you feel it on your finger? If not, the finger needs to go closer because if it's right here, pa pa pa, you cannot feel anything. Pa pa pa. We're gonna pretend this is a candle and we are blowing down the candle like this. Pa, pa, pa. We're gonna puff it out. And there's a song that goes along those lines and we're gonna sing it for you and then you can join us. Puff out the candles on a pink big cake. Pa, 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 pa. Puff out the candles on a pink big cake. Puff, puff, puff. You got it. Let's do it one more time. Are you ready? Get your candle ready. Put it close to your mouth and let's do it. Puff out the candles on a pink big cake. Pa 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 pa. Puff out the candles on a pink big cake. Puff puff puff. Good. And since your finger is already up here, let's learn how to write this sound down with our magic finger. Let's put it up in the air and let's go down and a bit on top. And down and a belly on top and one more time down, down and a belly on top <laughs> and don't put a finger anywhere we're gonna sing it one more time because i want to make sure you guys remember this is a really fun song before we tell you the story and look for the words and do our sound book let's sing it one more time puff out the candles on a pink big cake puff 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 out the candles on a pink big cake puff puff Puff. Awesome. Are you ready for the story now? Let's come closer and let's read it. This is our story. See, we have a party, P -p -p party. But before we start looking for all the things starting with the P sound, let's close our eyes and listen for the sound. And I'll tell you the short story. So close your eyes, close them and listen. It is the boy's birthday. His mother has made a big pink cake for the party. She has decorated it with trick candles huh, that will relight every time they're blown out. He puffs and puffs the candles out, making a puh, puh, puh sound. But when they light up again, he has to blow them out again and again and again. <laughs> Open your eyes. Wow, what a fun party, huh? P -p -p party Okay, what do we have here starting with a p -p -p sound? Let's see. I see the pink cake and a pink balloon. I see popcorn and a princess. Popcorn and a princess crown. Awesome. We have a spinning top that's at the end. Do you hear it? Top. And, and presents. We have lots of presents. P -p -p present. Ooh. We have a cupcake. Okay, that doesn't start with a p, does it? P -p -p cupcake. But can you hear it? K -a -p cupcake. 
Okay, what else do we have? Uh oh, the balloon popped. Pop, pop, pop. And the top is spinning. And do you hear the p spin? Sp in. There's a spill. And there's a sp spill. Ill. Spill right there. Awesome. And he's puffing off the candles. P p p p p. Wow, that's a lot. Are we ready to put the p p p sound in our sound book? Let's get them out. I have my sound book ready, but you know what? I want to look for more things that start with a p p p sound before I put a sound in there. Let's see what I found here. So we have a p p p pig that are pink. What is this? We got a panda bear. What else do we have here? We have a p p p parrot. parrot or parakeet. We have a p p p pine, pine cone. cone. Ooh, we got the yummy p p p pretzels. And we have one more p p p pink pig. Pink pig. Oh. Wobbly pig. Ah, okay. We have a p -p 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 pumpkin. pumpkin. We have a p -p 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 plane. And we have a p -p 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 pencil. P -p 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 puzzle. And more. What color is that? P -p 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 pink. Look at that. So many things starting with a p -p -p sound. Now we learn that we're gonna write it like this. We're gonna do a line and a belly on top. And that's now it's time to put it in our sound book. So let's read it first. S, A, T, E. And there's room for another one. And that's gonna be P, P, P. Let's cut it out. And we only have one more left in the first row. That's so cool. Now be careful when you glue this one down because it's a very different letter if you put it upside down. It needs to go down like that. So we're gonna put a little bit of glue in our sound book and put a p, p, p right there. P, 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 pick. Oink, oink. oink. We have one more p, p p song for you about a pig, a pig named Penelope. So we'll sing it for you and then you can try it with us because it's really funny and not that difficult. P is for Penelope, Penelope, Penelope. P is for Penelope, a proud and pretty pig. Penelope is pink and plump, pink and plump, pink and plump. Penelope is pink and plump, a truly perfect pig. <laughs> Do you see how many p, p p sounds we have there? Look at that. P, 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 p. Oh my goodness, so many. I have to do it one more time and listen for all those sounds, yeah? P is for Penelope, Penelope, Penelope. P is for Penelope and proud and pretty pig. Penelope is pink and plump, pink and plump, pink and plump. Penelope is pink and plump, a truly perfect pig. <laughs> and one more time. Can we sing it very quietly? You know, we don't want to scare her off. P is for Penelope, Penelope, Penelope. P is for Penelope, proud and pretty pig. Penelope is pink and plump, pink and plump, pink and plump. Penelope is pink and plump, truly perfect pig. And now one more time, and nice and loud, yeah? Mm. You ready? <coughs> Get ready. <coughs> P is for Penelope, Penelope, Penelope. P is for Penelope, a proud and pretty pig. Penelope is pink and plump, pink and plump, pink and plump. Penelope is pink and plump, a truly perfect pig. Oh my goodness, this is getting difficult, huh? <laughs> Good job, you guys. P -p -p Penelope. The next time you go outside, Look around and see if there's any nice, nice fall leaves. Something like that.
and then you can choose one and either bring it home or just look at it outside but i want you to make it your leaf okay really look at it really describe it and then maybe even draw it you know observe it and really 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 look at it closely so i chose this one and katie chose that one and we're gonna look at them close up and we're gonna draw what we see when i do it with us you can take your leaf and really look at it you can even use a magnifying glass and then just get a piece of paper and let's draw what you see and this one doesn't have to be an art project it's just a little sketch you know what the easiest thing is hold down the leaf and kind of gently trace all around it so you have the right size see and then the stick Ta -da! <gasps> that's my leaf now i know that there's a line over here and there's more lines here you see them and here and here hmm and let's see how big my leaf is one two three four five about five cubes let's see that's about right okay i'm gonna write five see it's about five cubes now you can even draw how the tree looked like so over here if you want to you can draw the tree with the branches i don't have the tree inside so i cannot really show you but we can do the tree with the leaves so that you know what it looked like because maybe you found it on a little bush or maybe you just found it on the floor on the ground you know and that's fine too and when you have your picture you can start coloring it in a little bit see katie is tracing much longer than me because her leaf is a little bit more complicated so i'm gonna color it in yellow there you go that's my leaf and then i'm gonna add the other colors in there too See, we have a little bit of brown over here. And really, really look. Do you see the lines? They're a little brown, right? So I'm gonna go over. And it's green over there. Do you see, guys, the green? Light green, I think, right? So there's gonna be some green over here. And on the sides as well just a little bit okay and there's a little bit of brown and a little bit over here and a little bit over there <laughs> and this one's brown too <gasps> that's my leaf if you want to color the tree you can do that too you can even trace the bark if you're still outside you can put the paper on the tree and just rub it like this and then you're gonna have the pattern of the tree on your paper I'm already inside, so I cannot do that, but that would be fun. And I can just do a little bit of green and yellow. So I remember the color of the tree. And let's write my leaf. Let me show you how to do that. My leaf. My leaf you can write a date when you found it your parents can help you write down where you found it was it your backyard was it a park oh my goodness look at that i love all those little spots that you have on the leaf thank you awesome so there you have it and that's nature journaling just the first step to looking really closely at nature and capturing it with your eyes and pencils and crayons let's count our leaves and sing a little song so i will count the leaves up to nine can you count with me to nine one two three four five six seven eight nine 
awesome. So I'm gonna be putting the leaves down and we're gonna count them and sing a little song. We're gonna do it twice so you guys can sing with us, okay? Let's start. One little, two little, three little leaves, four little, five little, six little leaves, seven little, eight little, nine little leaves, blow them all away. Whoosh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it one more time. I have nine more leaves. How cool is that? Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's see if I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. One little, two little, three little leaves. Four little, five little, six little leaves. Seven little, eight little, nine little leaves. Blow them all away. What? <sighs> Yay, that was a little too fast for me, but did it. <laughs> Let's make our first fall picture. We're gonna use the fall colors for this one. We decided to go with chalk, but if you wanna do watercolors, that works the same. We just need those colors. We need yellow, oh. and we need orange, and red, and brown. brown. These are awesome fall colors. This one has a couple steps. So we'll need a piece of paper, and a bigger piece of paper. So smaller and a bigger because this one's gonna go on top when it's done. We will also need some black paint and a little piece of scrap paper where we can put the black paint, like a little palette. And we'll need a small brush. And we'll need scissors. And we'll need a Sharpie. And that's it. I know, it's a lot of steps, but it's gonna be a really cool picture, I promise. First, before we make this paper all nice and colorful, we're gonna trace it on that one. So let's put it in the middle, kinda in the middle, and get your Sharpie. Open it up, and froggy legs. Now hold it down, hold the paper down, and trace, 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 trace. If it moves, <gasps> that's okay. I can just put it back like this, as good as I can get it. No worries if it's not perfect, right? Art is not about being perfect, it's about having fun and making something unique and just like you. I traced it, ta-da! See, it fits. So I'm gonna put this one away for now and I'm gonna focus on the little piece of paper. We're gonna start with our pastels and again we have Yellow, orange, orange red, red, and brown. brown. And we're gonna mix them all together. So we're gonna put it on the side, not like this, but like that. And we're gonna do yellow. Oh, hold it down, hold it down. <gasps> we're gonna do orange. We're gonna do red. And a little brown. Ta-da! <laughs> now, we need to blend it together. Do you remember how? Yes, we take a little paper towel and we crumble it, crumble it, crunch it, crumble it. And now let's blend it all together. There you go, no white spaces. We want all this to be nice and colorful. And then three, two, one. <gasps> Ta-da! That's gonna be our background. If you wanna add more colors to it, you can put more on top and blend it again. See, I wanna make it more yellow. And that's it. Ta-da! That's perfect, exactly as I wanted it. Now, oh, look at that. See, that's the shape of my paper. Now we're gonna take a little bit of black paint and put it on the scrap paper next to us. Just a little bit, we don't need that much. And we are going to draw a tree. Brush. Thank you. Do you think it's better to use a big brush or a little brush? A little. Yeah, the big brush would make the tree really big. I think I'm gonna go with a little one. So, froggy legs. We're gonna dip it into black paint. And let's start at the bottom and let's make a trunk. You know what, I'm gonna flip it so you guys can see it better. And we're gonna make the trunk of the tree. 
That one's gonna be nice and thick. Ah, there you go. And now we need some branches, don't we? Yes, you do. Okay, one, two, three, four, and smaller ones, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten, and one extra for a birdie to sit on and watch everybody. <laughs> I see this one is a little too light, so I'm just gonna touch it up a little bit, trace it with a black paint so it's a little darker. And that's gonna be our my tree, look at that. You can make as many branches as you want. Just count and see how many you made. Okay, that's my nice black tree. Awesome. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. I need to clean my brush though a little bit. So I'm going to clean my brush. And oh, look at that tree. How many branches did you make? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. If I count correctly, you need one more. Ha, twenty. Oh, now we're gonna put the paint away because we don't need it anymore. We are going to switch those pictures. Zoom, because we are done with this one. Zoom. And now remember, I said that the picture is gonna go right here, right? That's why we traced yeah. it. There's nothing on the background. And I thought it would be really nice to fill the background with a pattern. And you can do whatever pattern. It doesn't have to repeat all the way. Maybe you can do a pattern here and then a different one here, a different one there. Just do lines and zigzags and circles. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ooh, we got triangles over there. Nice. You know what? I'm gonna wipe my working station a little bit because I'm getting chalk all over. How come you're not getting chalk all over? Mm, I don't know. Huh. Magic. Must be magic. That's the only explanation, isn't it? Okay, and let's make a swirl in there and a swirl here and here and here. And we have line, swirl, line, swirl, line, swirl, line, swirl, line. Huh. And let's do something different over here. I'll do zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. Zig, 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 zig. Hmm. And let's see. Over here, we're gonna make a big heart in the corner, and a big heart in this corner. Should we make a zigzag on the other side too, or maybe do circles? What do you think? Circles. Circles. I oh, you know what. I'm gonna do circles over here. Circle. Circle. Circle, circle, circle. How many? One, two, three, four, five. Good. And we're gonna make a heart here too. And I'm gonna make a little one here. Haha. <laughs> so I have hearts in the corners. And I'm gonna fill this with the zigzag again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm. Now, oh, I like that. That's a lot of lines. Let's make some lines here too. That's a good idea. So you guys fill it with whatever pattern you want. You do not have to copy what we're doing. I need to move this out of the way. It is so pretty, but I'm kind of hitting it all the time. So many different lines. And see, we can do all different things with our lines. They can be straight, they can be wiggly, they can be thin and they can be thick. You can even use different Sharpies for that. Hmm, let's do something on the other side. Oh, I'm gonna make dots. Remember, when you do dots, don't do it like that. If you stab your marker too much, you will break it. It will not work well anymore. And that would be a shame because Sharpies are pretty awesome. And more dots over here. And more dots over here. And over here. 
Hmm, and this one, I'm gonna fill with more lines. I feel like I need something a little darker on this side. There you go, so you fill the whole border. And remember, don't do anything in here because we will take our tree when it's done and put it right there. So we're gonna decorate all around it. That's why we traced it so we know what we will still see after we put the picture in there. Hmm, let's see, what do we do with our circles? I'm gonna make a big one around every other one and maybe a small one in those, in those guys. <laughs> and then let's do some more lines. Ooh, you have so many lines there. How many lines did you make, Katie? I don't know. <laughs> did you like know. to count your lines? No, thank you. No? I wonder why she doesn't want to count her lines. Hmm, just a couple dozen. More hearts. I'm so sorry. Okay. And maybe, what can we put in here? What should I put in here? Mm. Mm. Hearts. Hearts? Yeah. Well, let's do hearts. Oh, I do hearts. Let's do hearts. Do you like hearts, guys? Yeah, who doesn't, right? Okay, that's it. I got circles, I got hearts, I got triangles, I got squares, I got spirals, and most important, I got a tree to put in the middle. I'm gonna take my glue and glue it down. I have to be careful because my paint is not dry yet. You can wait a little longer, but I wanna show you how it's gonna look like. So, the glue, I'm gonna open the orange tip, flip it over and do shake, 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 and squeeze it. Now, squeeze it along the line. See, just like that. That's the best thing to, best way to glue down your picture. There you go. Shake, 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 and give it a squeeze. And we're gonna put our picture in the middle. Just touch up on the side. And ta-da! I am done. Let's see, let's see, let's see your skate. I'm gonna close the glue, always close the glue. Otherwise you will not be able to use it in a couple of weeks. Squeeze down. What a beautiful tree. Oh, I'm so excited to see yours, you guys. Ready to play a little bit more? Well, you can go on the website and print out all of those sheets. We got a spiral, we got some zigzags, we got some wave lines, and we got a letter sound. But you know what? You can make your own lines. You don't have to copy those. You can just get a paper and a marker and draw your line and then get some tiny little things. If they are folly, that's even better. But you know what? Legos would work, beans would work, pasta would work, whatever you guys have. We decided to use corn, acorns, the little hats from acorns. And then I have this really cool candy corn that you cannot really eat, those are beets. But I just love the look of those. But you could use the real one too, just don't eat all of it. And let me show you what you can do with it. We're gonna use our little candy corn or real corn or those little acorn cups to make a little pattern and trace the line. Let's see what you guys can do. You can do a simple line like that or you can make a little pattern, see? Corn, corn, acorn, corn, corn, acorn. Okay, what's gonna be next? Corn, corn, corn. Uh-uh, that's not right. I need my acorn in here. And again, corn, corn, and yep, acorn. Do I do another acorn over here? No, that would break my pattern, wouldn't it? I need to put corn and corn here. See, and you follow the whole line. And then you can try it again and see what else you can do. Maybe the corn can be facing each other like this. Look, that looks a little different, doesn't it? See, maybe I can borrow some corn over here and do one, two, three, four, five, and then put another one, and then put this one, and then do candy corn, and how many? 
I said five, didn't I? One, two, three, four, five, and this one, and another one. And you just keep on playing and see what you guys can do. Are you gonna be very patient like Katie over here and work on it like that? If you're afraid you're gonna knock it down, maybe you can do a little masking tape and hold the paper on your table so it does not move. But other than that, play, create beautiful pictures, and then, remember, <clears throat> this art, we're not gluing it down, so it will not last. If you wanna keep it, take a picture. Take a picture, and then you can keep it forever. And that's it for today. Did you guys have fun? We started exploring the fall and we're gonna go back and every day we're gonna talk about something a little different but it's all gonna be related to the month of October to fall and then eventually yep Halloween we're gonna talk about the leaves we're gonna talk about apples and pumpkins and corn and scarecrows and all of that so go play some more and we're gonna see you next time I'm gonna talk more about this beautiful season of ours. Bye.